You need 850 from that skirt, mate. What skirt? Yeah, 860. If I can get 700, that would be even better, wouldn't it? No, you don't get 700. Come on, there, 650. We put the coat there. It's a four very tall. Not over here. Yeah. That between here. We'll make a zero to a Because what they're saying is you can't put like a set of drawers in front of that wall because there's the door there. So the this room will access the ensuite yeah. from the room and yeah. the and the two doors occupy the same space. Yes. Brilliant. So what we're talking about is the, the ensuite for this bedroom. Now we've done it a couple of times where he has to come out of his bedroom to go in, but the, on the other one we managed to squeeze it in so the ensuite was accessible from the bedroom. The problem is is when you have a door space that takes about 0.25 square meters away from the room size from a compliance point of view. So what we were trying to figure out is getting the door swinging to enter the room and the door swinging to get into the ensuite occupy the same space. Now normally in a family home that's a problem because if someone leaves a door open or opens it while someone else, the doors clash. But when it's one person, it should be fine. What we were just talking about is ideally where we would start this wall runs for the whole ensuite would land on an existing joist but it doesn't give us the right amount of space between that and the start of the stairs because the minimum hallway space has to be at least the width of the stair. It's just under. So we're gonna to have to move it in slightly, which is fine for the bathroom, but for what we've got to do, we're gonna to have to put a noggin in underneath the floorboards every 400, which is a building regs requirement. 